Hi guys. Hi guys! Welcome back to my channel. My name is Amy and in my channel I talk about plants and my life and journey with my plants. I couldn't find the muffler for my microphone so I hope the sound is um, coming through okay. Um, today's video is actually inspired by one of you guys. I don't know if you guys have noticed but I really make an effort to reply and respond to every single one of your comments and a lot of times your questions and your comments they give me video ideas and today's video is actually uh, inspired by one of the more negative comments uh, one of you guys on my top 10 favorite Hoyas of March said that I have a very exclusive collection and then I thought how could that be the case I have actually been um, more struggling with um, being so inclusive of my collection because I just love so many plants and really just want to bring them home and enjoy watching them grow in my home and running out of space so that's more of my problem but then I figure, oh yeah, I guess a lot of you guys haven't seen a lot of my other plants because a lot of you guys are here for our love, share love for Hoyas. But this video is going to be about the other plants. I have chosen 10 plants here with really um, interesting foliage and uh, I really, really adore them and I haven't really gotten a chance to show you guys these plants as much. So here we go, uh, 10 of them. The first one on my list is my Philodendron Mayoii. Look at the foliage. I have adored this plant for so long until my friend was doing a purge um, of this one as a cutting. It was slightly rooted and uh, I brought it home and rooted it further. Uh, one of the leaves um, that it came with is starting to yellow and it's uh, gonna leave me soon. But it has rooted a lot, a lot since coming home with me. This was the first leaf that it's put out. Just like a really juvenile leaf. And then this is the second leaf that it's put out, which has all the beautiful, um, what's this word? Like, it's not penetration, you know, like it has really separated leaves. Um, unfortunately, the top part was a little bit burnt as it... Um, yeah, it didn't come out perfect, but I'm still really proud of the second leaf. That's the first one. Um, and then the second one on the list is my... Oh, I really love this one. Actually, I just uh, shared a cutting of this plant uh, with a friend of mine. This is the Petura, um, no, Peleonia, uh, Peleona Petura, or Poultra. I'll make sure I give you guys the right name on the screen. But look at that foliage. And the, there's some new leaves come in here. I adore this plant. I had it actually in my cabinet, really close to a grow light, and it did not need that much light. It was getting uh, kind of really stressed out by how much light uh, it was getting. So I pulled it out. Now it's in like a much darker, less intense space. but. I've heard that this one is, a sh and it has been my experience, really, really, really easy to grow. Um, the back side looks like this. And the new leaves emerge from the back. Yeah, I just adore the venation and the color in this uh, plant. So interesting and beautiful. That's the second one. The third one on the list is my fern leaf cactus. I actually have a bigger plant of this but it wasn't doing very well and it was attacked by thrips so I took a cutting of a, a ni nice um, shape cutting and it kept falling out of the pot because I was using a really airy um, soil mixture but then I just when I went to add a little bit of sphagnum moss on the top to secure it and it fell out and I just noticed that it has started to root um, yeah, I don't want to take it out to show you guys to um, disturb it, but it has started to root, so I'm really happy about that. It's such a beautiful plant. It just reminds me of a of a fish. Um, yeah, and it just adds like this kind of magical, myth mystical atmosphere in my space when it's sitting there. You know, like like it transports me from being here to like in the sea world or something. It's just so beautiful. Yeah, this one, fern leaf cactus. I really adore it. Um, uh, the third one, that's the third one. And the fourth one I show you 
It's not looking the prettiest, but I really adore this plant. This is uh, <laughs> the Rex Vine Begonia. Um, a while ago, it was really, really, really highly sought after, and then you, it was just like nowhere to be found. But um, recently, it just became super available. I guess the popularity has really informed the nursery um, and the growers ha uh, to grow more of these. The, yesterday, I was just driving by like a local grocery store, like small, convenient, like corner store, and I just saw a bunch of these being put outside. I think it's still too cold to have this these sitting outside, but I really, really love this plant. Although I don't know how um, it's gonna do in my home because uh, when I, I I brought this pot home, it's just got like super huge um, leaves, but as it's growing, the leaves are just getting, um, no, the backside is so beautiful too, hey? Just like purple and, yeah, so beautiful, but the leaves are just getting, you know, smaller and smaller. So, yeah, I'm not sure what, if the home environment is the perfect space to grow this plant, but, but I'm just going to enjoy it. Sometimes when my plants don't last a really long time, I tell myself that, you know, like if you were to buy a bouquet of flowers, they, they're really expensive, they don't last for a really long time, but they provide you with so much pleasure and joy to your home as well. Um, and... I know I, uh, these plants are supposed to be able to live a long time, but if they don't work out in your home environment, I kind of think that it was still like, while it lasted, it was still really worthwhile to, to have it. But yeah, I hope to figure this out. Um, some people are really worried about these kind of little crystals on the leaves. I read somewhere that uh, this is the plant's kind of uh, protective mechanism. It tries to pretend that the there are eggs on it, so butterflies or predators don't leave, don't um, attack them. I don't know. Yeah, so, so pretty. And then the, the next plant I want to show you, this is one of my favorite plants. It's actually a lot of people's favorite plants, um, but right now it's particularly pretty because it has just put out this new leaf. This is the new leaf. And um, a couple of the other leaves haven't turned green yet. So I, this is the uh, Philodendron Florida Ghost. Um, yeah, the leaf shape is just so, so stunning. It's like a little, I don't know, like a little bird, a little butterfly, I don't know. And then the growth pattern, the way they kind of dangle, is really just <laughs> the best thing. The only thing with this plant is that it, being a Philodendron, and kind of a soft leaf. It's not super succulent. Uh, it is, um, Thrips does really like this plant and I had, have had to treat it um, a few times, but totally worth it. I stay on top of it and uh, I fully intend on keeping this plant uh, healthy and thriving in my home because I just love it so much. How can you not? Like, so gorgeous. Yeah, and like check out this patio of the new leaf. Ugh, just hit me in the eye. How vibrant is that? Like who doesn't want to wear this as a lipstick? I guess a lot of people wouldn't, but I love vibrant lipsticks. But like, isn't that gorgeous? Especially for it to contrast the creamy white color of the new leaf. Like what is nature doing? Seriously. <laughs> Sorry. I just get so passionate about the subject. And then the next one I want to show you, I'm just checking my list and my phone. Someone's coming to pick up a plant. I sold a Hoya Sunrise because I've been buying so many plants. Sorry, I digress. I've been buying so many plants. So then I'm, I'm like, I need to sell some plants to like help, uh, help me get more plants. Okay, the next one I want to show you, I really adore this one. This is a really common plant you could I think maybe a while back you couldn't find it um, all the time, but this one, right now it's pretty available. This one, this is a blue star fern. This plant, I'm telling you, I don't know if it's showing up on screen, but it does have this like metallic blue uh, hue to it, which is really attractive. This is one of the new leaves. I guess, I guess I can kind of see a theme of these leaves that I'm showing you guys. They are all kind of, what's the description for this? 
you know, they have like different sections. <laughs> um, yeah, um, and then because it's a fern, it's a little bit trickier, but this one's not too, too tricky. Um, my friend has been taking care of hers for a little bit while, longer than I have, and she said she actually let this one dry out before watering. So that's what I am trying with mine. And it's been with me for um, a few months now, and it seems to be doing okay. I really love it in this gray pot. Yeah, I adore this plant. I can't wait for it to just like get humongous and have these beautiful blue hue leaves in my home. Really beautiful. All right, um, the next plant I want to show you is this little guy. I've actually have seen this plant sold in like bigger baskets, but I've never picked it up. But when I saw it in this little, as this little thing, I adore it. It's so cute. So I picked it up. Uh, this is the donkey tail. I'll find the scientific name and put it on the screen as well. Isn't it so cute? I actually um, have never really shown you guys a lot of my succulents, but I have quite a few because, yeah, they really grew on me too. The ease of care, the just like the varieties and how different they could be. Yeah, I, I really have fallen in love with succulents and this one, I just have been adoring it. <laughs> this is so adorable. Yeah. So then that one, the donkey tail, and then I want to show you guys my, oh, this one. A while back, well, maybe it's harder to find now, but a while back my local nursery had uh, released a bunch of these and uh, it became like less of a rare plant in my local community, but I know that it's still a bit of a harder to find plant. This is the variegated, I think, bird's nest fern. Look at the foliage. I have been neglecting this a uh, little bit because it's actually a very, very easy going plant. It doesn't really want much. I water it when it's like mostly dry and sometimes I forget to water it and it has just been, there's some like brown bits, but it has just been like a non-complaining plant. Yeah, I want to um, take better care of it so it could reach its like full potential of like beauty and size and yeah and it just deserves it right because it's so easy going so beautiful this right now i'm looking at it it really looks kind of like a feather reminds me of a fe feather fountain pen like uh, a lot of green feather fountain pens in like a pen case cup isn't it so pretty oh yeah i really adore this plant too um the next one I want to show you guys is um, this guy. I got it because my cabinet is like, basically I'm not displaying plants, I'm displaying um, a lot of fungus gnats. Sorry, I was just looking at my phone again. Fungus gnats. <laughs> so I got this little Venus fly trap. So cool. Uh, I know it's not, not the best carnivorous plant for catching fungus gnats, but I've always been curious about this plant and um, I, yeah, and I just thought the cabinet is a perfect environment for it anyways. And it has been catching some fungus gnats. If you could see, I'm gonna show you like in, in this one. Can you see the fungus gnat inside? I guess, yeah, and then in this, in this little leaf, there's a fungus gnat inside too. The baby um, new leaves are just so dainty and so adorable. I love the little like hair, like teeth like hair. It's just such a cute plant. Yeah, really cool, love it. All right, so we just have one last plant to show you guys. This is my, I could never remember the scientific name, but I will put it on the screen. This is the variegated, um, money tree i think look at this isn't the foliage so beautiful it's so pretty this is the new leaf it has a different shade of green it's shinier you can see i kind of like how it darkens it almost looks like black and white 
how dark the green is. Um, yeah, this, this is definitely one of my favorite plants, my pride and joy. Uh, when I first got it, it just had such small root system, so I wasn't, I was a little bit scared it wasn't gonna stick around, um, but it has put out a new leaf uh, since December, so it's really slow growing. Uh, I'm not sure, I don't uh, know this plant very well. So if you guys have any care tips, please send me my send my way. I would love to be able to take better care of this plant. It's getting indirect bright light and I'm watering it when it's quite dry. But yeah, I love it. The foliage is so pretty and romantic. Yeah, there you go. Those are the 10 uh, beautiful foliage plants that I have that are not Hoya. Not Hoyas. Um, I actually, you know, as a YouTuber, you get lots of comments and I have to tell you guys, 99% of the times, I am so touched by your beautiful comments. I feel so seen and so connected and it has been like a driving force for me to keep going because I just love connecting with you. This community is amazing. And of course, sometimes you get like the awe uh, person who writes, um, a strange or not so friendly comment but it doesn't really make me mad yeah I have worked in the mental health industry I have uh, worked on the crisis center the uh, the phone line and uh, I just uh, you know people express themselves in many different ways and mental health issues also appear in many different ways some appear in a more socially acceptable way some don't. Um, so for me, it's just like, I want to have healthy boundaries, but I also don't get worked up um, by sometimes when people choose to not be polite or kind. Uh, I'm okay with that. But I, of course, I'm still like, I want to set my own boundaries and, and protect myself. Another thing I want to say is that no matter what people say, I kind of see it as a... Uh, a call for connection whether they're expressing themselves negatively or positively people love to connect and even the negative comments i i see it as like a call for a connection anyways uh i just want to say goodbye holding this beautiful plant uh i really appreciate you guys being here uh, thank you so much um and uh, i look forward to making another video and connecting with you guys again see you next time bye